Do not pass me by. I'm calling Savior, Savior. Hear my other cry. Whoa, while brother, thou art calling. I said, do not pass me by. Listen, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host. Y'all probably said, what the heck is going on with the background? But I wasn't able to be on camera right now because I'm trying to look out the window at my um, pets and at the same time do this video because, Eric, I thought it would be important if I addressed you in a video. Okay, you made, you like, uh, and, I, and I respect the fact that um, a lot of men, particularly black men, because white men don't have anything to do with it, are really, 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 really angry at black women. Um, for whatever reason, um, I hear so many reasons, like they're too dominant, they're too, uh, they talk back. You know, the reasons are, are so preposterous. Um, and I just want to say in every group of people, there's trash. You have trailer trash. You have black trailer trash, white trailer trash. You have, you know, people who maybe grew up a little better, and so they may not be as trashy, but they might have a little trash. But, however, at the end of the day, there is no perfect one, okay? Now, as far as black women are concerned, and you saying they are too aggressive, and this, this, that, and the other, and that may be true, this, you know, but you must understand, first of all, if you take it from a historical perspective, what would make you think that you uh, can say um, black women in particular? When you look at our history, there are certain things that we did, there are certain things that we didn't like to do. There were certain things that were forced up on us, just like slavery, just like the black man. But then what happened in this dance that the black man began to try to treat the black woman just like the white man was treating him. And that became a problem. And you find a lot of black men in particular, and some women, I won't just say all, you know, I'm not saying all, that really, like, the ones that have the problem, serious, serious problem with the color purple, okay? And they really have a problem because they say they made the black man look bad. Okay. Now, if it wasn't uh, those type of situations and scenes, that movie was written by a black woman, so you said she just wrote it just to down uh, the black man as a as opposed to shining a light on his negative, oppressive behavior. See, now it depends on how you want to look at it. So I look at it just like that. It's no different than um, black men uh, being oppressive to black women, raping them, raping their children, living in the house with them, and then laying down with their daughters. Uh, so in, as far as I'm concerned, when black men particularly say things like that about the black woman. I trust the kind of, mm, how do I say it? You know, without being disrespectful. I trust question really their, uh, it, you know, their, their um, security in themselves. Because any Mac black man that is secure in himself and know who he is and ain't threatened by a woman, no matter if she's aggressive, if she's assertive, um, we're the human animal. And as far as the black woman who was working right out there in the fields with you, who worked from sun up to sundown just like you did, but unlike you, she had to drop a baby in the fields. 
I don't know how dainty you expect her to be and how nice that she had you you expect her language to be when she had to defend you from the master. And when she had to watch you be killed in front of y'all's children in front of the master. So what you talking about is so crazy. She worked by side with you. Okay? She didn't have time to put the makeup on and talk nice to you. She had she had time to talk the same shit that you talked. Okay? Because the same devil that was on you was on her. So this is just my opinion. Of course, Eric, it's just my opinion. And I, but I get sick of these conversations and these gender wars. And it's like, why don't y'all uh, man up? Because cause, cause what, in my opinion, you know, and like I said, in the, the, I'm a baby boy. So looking at y'all, I'm looking like I see a bunch of freaking weakness. Okay? Back in my day, men liked women who were assertive. May, you know, and and if aggressive if need be. How you think you get shit done? Who, who you think Queen and Zynga was? Who you think Angela Davis was? I mean, what is wrong with y'all? You can't have it both ways. So what you want is a puppet. You want to be the puppet master, and you when you're insecure, that's the kind of behavior you want to fit a woman into the box with. Um, but that's not her existence. Um, when you look at we're the human animal. So if you look at the animal kingdom, and when you look at the female, she's pretty aggressive. She's pretty tough. She's pretty protective because she's got a mechanism in her that makes her have to protect her children. When she know that you won't, she got to protect those cubs. Okay? So when you take everything, you know, verbatim, from what somebody told you from a sound bite or some ashe niggas, then and I and I don't mean that yes I do. I mean it in a a real um you know I don't want to be callous about it, but in a way I just reject that kind of conversation. Because to me it it gets real stupid when you talk about the problems that's in our community and then you talk about women that are assertive and aggressive. When the men in the community have let the community run amok, get out of control, and then they blame the women, saying that the women produced all these um, uh, uh, gangbangers, which they did, but they didn't produce them by themselves. Okay? And so your natural enemy is not uh, your counterpart. Your natural enemy is the oppressive system that made both of y'all be outside of your nature. Now, that's just my opinion about it. So don't get caught up, Eric, in those kind of wars when you hear them talking about how black women are and what black women should be doing and what they ain't doing. Uh, to me, that's just a, ton, a, a crock. A crock. A, a mess. So, you know, I ain't gonna be over here long. Like I said, that... If the shoe fits, I want you to wear it and wear it good. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share.